Okay, we got the base all done. It's dry. We made sure that it's nice and covered too. Good coats nailed this thing. If you're going to wait for more than one to two days, you're going to want to intercoat this stuff because you want to protect that metallic and that pearl because if you hit that two day uh, window, you're going to have to sand it. And if you sand down your pearls and metallics, you're going to see nice stuff marks to it, which is actually isn't nice at all. So to save your butt, intercoat it if you're going to wait two days for the base. But us, we're going right into it. We waited for a flash time for about an hour, hour and a half. We're laying tape on it. We're ready to lay out this to graphic. So nubs, take it away. Basically, uh, what I'm doing is I'm using this tape to get my center of these parts, and I'm just going to build it. It's going to be a two-tone, so the center is going to be gold. The outside is going to be the green, then it's going to be the candy. But I'm going to block out using these different size tapes so I can get an even shot down the middle, and then I'm going to give the outside a little bit of flair with the, the fine line and go to it. Go to it. And what's cool about using tape like this is as he's finding the center marks, you can also use these as measuring tools. Yep. So if you use this as a three quarter inch, well duh, that's three quarter inch. You got an inch, you want to go out and build your space. Hey, come on. If you want to build your space out from there, it actually is symmetrically perfect when you're laying out your designs. Okay, now that I got my center line done and I've spaced it out an inch and a half on each side, I know that everything is, is contained in this center unit. I'm just going to give the outside edge um, just a little bit more flare, just so it's not a straight, a straight run up the middle. Mm -hmm. 